Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We have episode 6 of my Manchester City career mode series back on FIFA's Realism mod. Here today we have truly a massive episode. First up, we've got the FA Cup against Manchester United. Then we've got the Champions League final. Then we're going to be wrapping up the Premier League season. So a lot to come. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see Season 2 of the Manchester City Career Mode series. Depending on the results of today's episode. Or, we could move on to another team. Alright, let's get stuck in. The boys are warming up at Wembley. Let's go. Man United. Haven't had the best results against them this season. And it looks like it's going to continue. <laughs> As both teams played poorly, to be honest, in that first 90. Oh, nil-nil. Second half. Well, first half of extra time. Oh, hang on. Did that go in? No way. That's going to go to VAR, I reckon. How <laughs> Sterling put that over the line. This has been such a crazy match. How have we got the lead? Oh my god, Rodri with the ball to Gnagbri. What a ball at the back. City, make it 2-0. What a crazy FA Cup. The first half was terrible, but we've somehow managed to make it 2-0 in extra time. Our squad depth has really held us through that one. What a great ball from Rodri. A nice little quaint touch to find Serge Gnagbri one-on-one. -on -one. He has been awesome since joining Man City in the summer. And we might even get a third here with Walker if we're lucky. Oh, go on, Walker. Ah, oh, he got tacked there by Shaw. Man, it was only 3-0 there. All right. As we win our first piece of silverware this season, or major silverware, we did win the Community Shield. Now we've won the FA Cup. Manchester City lift the trophy at Wembley with Phil Foden getting the captain's armband off the bench. Manchester City are ah, your new 2022 FA Cup champions. 2-0 against United. Really good result. We managed to push on through. All right, back into the Premier League. We managed to pick up a 2-0 victory over West Ham. We've got to deal with the last couple of matches of the Prem. Got a match against Aston Villa. We managed to go and beat them 2-0, thanks to De Bruyne and Gnagbri. And with those results, that's how the Premier League ended. After 38 games played, we managed to finish in second. Six points behind Liverpool, getting 100 points and winning. United finished in third with 91. Chelsea in fourth with 90. Man, I just love seeing the points. It's so realistic in real life. Like, the teams do so well. Thanks to Fifa's Realism mod. Alrighty, so let's get stuck into the Champions League final as De Bruyne picks up the golden boot. Suarez is the top goal scorer. As, as you can see now, we've been drawn against Atletico Madrid. There was a chance it could have been Juventus, but we're going to be facing Diego Simeone's side. Alright, unfortunately, we've had a really big upset here. Um, Sterling has picked up a seven-week injury. He's actually broken his ribs, which is not the best. So we're going to have to change the team slightly. Uh, we've got a couple of options. Um, Foden, Grealish, or Mares. And I've elected to go with just changing Gnagbri on the left and playing Mares off the right. I think that's our best team going forward. But here we go. We've made, to the, we've made it to the Champions League final, but we've been drawn against... Diego Simeone's hard-nosed Atletico Madrid. Let's go, fellas. Here we are, the moment you've been waiting for this entire career series. We've made the Champions League final against Atletico Madrid. As we look to warm up at Sanders Park, I believe it's in Germany, is going to be hosting the neutral uh, fire. Or it's in real life, it's gone to the Parc de Prince, hasn't it? Yeah. 17 minutes in, Man City look to press the first serious attack as De Bruyne nearly gets closed down there by Oblak. He somehow curls it around him and it's 1-0 thanks to El Capitan 
Kevin De Bruyne to make it 1-0. Second half, City look for the second and Sonny drives it into the bottom right hand corner and we have put ourselves quite frankly in an awesome position in this final 2-0 up come on come on come on just need to hold it that little bit longer as Gnagbri and the boys look for the third he just needs to beat Savage oh, there's a bit of a tackle there I don't know if we're going to be able to get through again there's a penalty Oh my god, everything has gone crazy here, as in Kondogbia and their newly signed players of Neuhaus and Lucas run in to contest. De Bruyne to step up, can he sweeten the deal? And he can. A Champions League final brace for De Bruyne, Manchester City win three goals to nil over Atletico Madrid. Guys, I dare say it. With only a minute remaining, but we're gonna we're going to. Manchester City in this career series have won the Champions League final. Oh, we've gone and done it. We've fulfilled our owner's dreams. Man, what a crazy run as well. We had to beat Bayern and PSG. It wasn't an easy run to the final whatsoever. But I'm so happy to see the boys celebrate. We've won technically a treble if you Thing if you count the community shield but it's going to be the captain who had a an amazing match here today scoring a brace and it's Kevin De Bruyne to lift the trophy Manchester City are your 2022 FIFA 22 Champions League winners wow 3-0 against Atletico Madrid that's a huge result so what we're going to do now for the remaining of the video is go through the stats. So yeah, unfortunately we finished in second. We couldn't win the league. So let me know in the comments, would you like to see season two? We could maybe try and win the Premier League and go back-to-back -back Champions League winners. Uh, Liverpool won the Carabao Cup. Uh, in the Europa League, Benfica won. Massive results, 2-1 over Napoli. And Roma beat Slavia Prague. 2-1 and the World Cup in Qatar the group stages are just about to kick off as well here is the team and the overall ratings I will go through and have a look a bit better we'll just change the team back because Sterling will eventually be back from his injury ah oh, it's a shame he missed out on the Champions League final Sterling he really deserved it played awesome this season Edison with a plus two Diaz with a plus two Sonny didn't even go up in stats Sterling with a plus one Laporte with a plus two along with Zhao and you're most welcome to pause and have a look at your favorite player's growth rate if you are curious. So, here are the overall ratings as well. Everyone shot up from that 7.0. And I'm happy that Zhao really stepped up. And Diaz. Mares didn't have the best season. I'm not even going to lie. So, De Bruyne scored 38 goals from midfield. Sonny picks up 30, which is exactly what we wanted to see when bringing him in. Sterling with 15. Bernardo Silva with 11. Gnagri with 11. Gundogan with 6. Laporte with just the 4. Uh, Mares maybe should have moved him on, to be honest. Didn't have the best season playing off the bench in a bit part role. Mario Balotelli, the mascot, did play one match in the FA Cup, but we just obviously couldn't get him into the team. He was more of just like the party figure on the bench in and around the club. So here are the uh, career stats if you're curious. 53 wins, only a handful of losses, and we could potentially accept the Bayern or the PSG offer, which I'm probably not going to do. Um, we might be better off doing an athletic career mode series potentially, maybe playing as Inter or Milan. There's still so many career mode teams that I haven't done. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, we disappointingly lost the Premier League title race over Liverpool. They they actually did well. They won a double winning the Carabao and the Premier League. We've won three trophies this year. We completed our main victory objective of winning that Champions League as City have never done it before. We've won countless Premier Leagues. The elusive trophy was that Champions League win. And we picked up an FA Cup along the way, which is a really good result. I prefer the FA Cup, like, always over 
the Carabo. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching episode 6 and the season 1 finale. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see season 2, or we can move on to another career mode side. But regardless, stay tuned for an upload the exact same time tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this career mode series. I've had an absolute blast. And without further ado, got to play the outro. I'll see you guys in uh, a future upload, as always. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C, and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.